Okay, so today we are going to discuss what puts around 842 question C flexible string. So first read the, let's read the question. You are given two strings A and B. Both the strings are of length n. There are at most 10 different characters in string A. That means from A to Z there are at most 10 different characters which is which has made up the string A. You have a set Q. Initially the set Q is empty. You can apply the following operation on string A and input. Okay. So what's the operation? For example, you have a string A, A, B, E, C, C, A. You choose an index. Let's say you choose i equal to 3. So we choose this index. And you choose c equal to x. You choose a character from A to Z and you choose x. So the string will transform to A, B, X, C, C, A. In another operation, if you choose i equal to 6 and c, c equal to S. So index 6 is this index A. You change it to S. So then now the string will become A, B, X, C, C, S. You can apply these operations any number of times on A. But in the end, this is the constraint, the set Q should contain at most k different characters. So in general, you need, you can have a set of k different characters and you can make them uh, sw swap with any, not switch with any other character on any of the indexes. That's the basic question. And what you need to do is that you need to find the maximum number of subarrays that you can make equal in string A and B. And you need to uh, like tell them how many max subarrays that you can make them make equal in string a and b so that's what that, that was the question first let's see how can you find the number of subarrays that are equal in two strings if like some consecutive elements are equal so let's say uh, uh, not notion yeah okay so let's say you have let's delete all this uh, yeah. so Let's say you have a string this, just forget uh, like where the character, just think of it, this other string. And let's say if you have just one character equal in string A and B. For example, this is string B, like some random character is there and only one of the characters are equal. Then how many subarrays are equal in string A and B? Let's say this is A, this is B. Only one of the subarrays are equal if one consecutive elements are equal in A and B. Let's say if one and two were equal, let's say there, okay, well, there was two in here. So now how many subarrays are equal in string A and B? That is 1, 2 and 1, 2. 3 subarrays are equal, right? Now what if 1, 2, 3 was equal? Then how many subarrays are equal? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, uh, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 subarrays are equal. So you can get a formula for this. Like if there are n consecutive elements equal in set in string A and B, then the number of subarrays which are equal is n into n plus 1 by 2. That's the basic logic of this question and for that's how you'll find uh, the answer. Let's see some of the test cases first and let's try to understand how can we get, how can we like solve this question. Okay. One important thing to notice is that uh, string A is made up of 10 different characters. That means if you add all the characters of this string A into a set, the size of set will come at most 10. For those of you who don't know what a set is, Set is a data structure in which every element frequency can only be, uh, you can add an uh, element to that set only once. Like if you add one twice to a set, the frequency of one would be one only. Right, that, so that's what a set is. For example, if you add, uh, if you add two to a set, so that set will become two. If you add an another two to a set, the set will remain two only. It won't change. That's the basic property of a set. Now, let's see this example. Three, one, A, B, C, A, B, D. Just a second. Yep, so that's our example. Now, here we can say is that the value of k can only be 1 at max. So we can have a set of 1 characters we can change in this string to make the maximum possible number of sub arrays which are equal. So if we don't change anything, let's say we don't change anything. So the number of sub arrays which will be equal to is ab ab. So that would be 2 into 3 by 2 and that would be 3. But we can change this c to b, right? We can apply this operation once so that this will become ABD and then the number of subarrays equal is 3 to 4 by 2. That would, that would be uh, that would be 6. So 6 will be the answer for this test case. Right? All these test cases are equal. So let's see this test case. This is something different. So let's see we have this test case with us. Now in this the value of k can be equal to 3 at max 3. You can choose a set of 3 different characters. If you see if any of the subarrays are equal, any of the characters are equal, if we don't apply any operation, 
एल क्यू के ओ डब्ल्यू आई एच यू बी जे ए ओ एच एम यू सी क्यू जे ए बी सो यू कैन सी द नंबर ऑफ सबेल विच आर इक्वल विदाउट अपलाइंग एन ऑपरेशन इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ नीड टू अप्लाई द ऑपरेशन इन सच अ वे दैट द नंबर ऑफ सब एरेज इज मैक्सिमम राइट सो आई मीन दिस नो एल्गोरिथम दैट यू कैन अप्लाई टू दिस राइट नाउ बट इफ आई टेल यू द सॉल्यूशन इट इज एच बी ए एच यू यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट अ सेट ऑफ ए बी एंड एच इफ यू सिलेक्ट दिस के इक्वल नंबर ऑफ दैट इज अ थ्री सो दिस विल बिकम एच बी ए एच एंड ए सो यू विल चेंज दीस फाइव कैरेक्टर्स राइट यू विल चेंज दिस टू यू this to j this to o this to n and this to b so for, uh, the number of sub arrays which is equal in this these four is 4 into 5 by 2 that is equal to 10 plus this b and b are equal so that means 1 so total number of sub arrays equal is equal to 11 and that is the correct answer for this question now let's see how to solve this question the most important part of this question is that there can be at most 10 different characters in string How is this important? Let's see. If in a string a, let's see you have a string a, and the characters which are equal is number of characters are only ten at max, right? And the value of k is also less than equal to ten, which is specified in the question. See, k is also less than equal to ten. So that means the okay. Let let me run. Let's see. If you if uh, let's see if k equal to ten. Let's see the worst test case. If k equal to ten, and uh, No, let's see. Uh, let's see. N equal to ten. The number of different characters in a string in A is ten, and K equal to five. How many different sets can we make? That would be ten C five. That would be five one two. What I mean is that if you have a string A with ten different characters, and you have K ranging from one to ten, right? So the number of sets which which you can make for k equal to one is ten c one, right? For k equal to two, you can make ten c two. Up till you can make till ten c ten, and the max value which you can get from this is ten c five, which is five one two, right? So that means you can have like only five one two sets which you can make out of all the sets which you have. so if we check on all these uh, sets the time conservative will that will come out to be 512 into n right you will find all the subsets of k which you can select not k of all the characters which you can select and you will find if you multiply it by n the time conservative because you will check on every array for every set and that would be the time conservative that would be n into 512 which is well inside the Permissible well, time conservative because n is equal to ten to the power five, right? So the time conservative would be five into ten to the power seven, which is less than ten to the power eight. So that means this solution will work, right? So that's the basic question. And how would you find the sets? Find all these sets? You will find them by brute force, not brute force, but I just copied a solution from copied from GFG, where you can find these. In, I don't know the time conservative bus, but Just a second. C eight forty eight. Yeah. So I have taken this function from GFG, which will return me all the sets of this of size k, right? And it will store it in a res result, which is a vector of set. After finding this vector of set, what I'll do is I'll just brute force the solution. My res contains all the sets, and uh, Then I'll just brute force from this uh, array. Like if let's see, I have the test case of let's see, I have this test case only, this one. So let's see, I find all that all these sets of this of size three, right? After finding all these sets of size three, what you will do is that. I just traverse through the array, the string. If the number is already, if this character is already equal, I just increase the count. If it is not equal to, okay, just a second. Well, okay, let's see the implementation from the start again. Just a second. Okay, so I hope you understood the solution. Like what I'm doing, I'm just finding all the sets of size k, right? And I'm then multiplying it by. I'm just checking on all the strings. So time to 
and time complexity that will come out to be n into pi 1 2 and let now let's move on to the implementation part just a second just a second so let's move on with the implementation of this question initially i took the input n and k i took both the strings of the input and i made a character a set of characters and i inserted all the characters of string a into by x set s and then i just transfer it to a vector of characters back so basically now i have all the different all the distinct characters of a in my vector in my vector back so and now this function print combination what this function does is that it will print all the subsets all the subsets of the characters of size k for my string a i'll just print it for you so that you understand what basically i'm telling you so the set is stored in here in the result so i'll do for auto val res i'll just do two plus two so okay let's see yeah so for this string a of size 3 i have print i have uh, found out all the subsets a, B, H, A, B, K, A, B, L, A, B, Q and all are distinct, right? So there are total 56 subsets which I can found for the find for this string A, right, of size 3. Now I'm going to check for all these subsets, what's the value of the number of subarrays which are equal in A and B. I can get if I use these three to change my characters to, right? For now, let's see the implementation of that. I traverse through my res, which is this. I go to abh now let's see the implementation i have a count variable and a temporary variable what my count variable does is that if let's see if i have my let's see i have a string uh, let's see i have a string a b c d a b c c okay so let's see if these two strings were equal like there was a, a or b here and there's a d here so what will happen is that when I come here, the count will increase to 1. When I go here, the count will increase to 2. But when I come here, and I don't have D in my set, right? If I don't, sorry, if I don't have C in my set, what I'll do is that I'll just de uh, decrease my count and add 2 into 3 by 2, that is 3. That means these two subarrays are equal, right? And I can't change it. So I'll add 3 to my array and I just, 3 to my answer and I initialize count to 0 again. So basically count is checking how many consecutive numbers, consecutive characters are equal in my string a and b, right. So if they are already equal, I just get, increase the count. If, if in my this subset, string character a of i is present, then I also increase the count because I will change it because I have that present in my set. Else, if it's not present, right, I will just uh, add count into count plus 1 by 2 in my answer. And initialize count to zero again. Also, when I at my last index, I'll just increase, I'll just add the count to my answer. And this is of no use, but like we still tried it. Why I did this is because if there are if there were like two strings A B A and A B A, when I'll come here, the count will become three. So I need to finish my answer. So I'll just do three into four by two, add it to my answer, and just move on. That's why it's a like a corner case. So that's why I have done this. And in the end, I'll just take the max in my answer variable, which I've initialized to zero. So the answer would be max of the previous answer and the temporary answer, which I found right now for some set. And in the end, the I just print out the answer. That was the implementation. And I think I can again go on why the time complexity is within the constraints. So I think I'll go to that part again if you are not able to understand this. So okay, if A has 10 different characters at max, right? And K can be from 1 to 10, anything, right? One thing to notice is that you need to take sets of size K from string A, right? And if there are at most 10 characters in A, then it's only obvious that you can you can only like 
have like 10 C1, 10 C2, up till 10 C10 subsets of those characters, right? That's something which you need to understand. You can think on it on your own for some time, like how is this coming? And due to this, this question became a brute force question because this is the value of the max value of this is 10 C5. If number of different characters is 10 and k equal to 5, the max value is 512. And after finding these 512 subsets, you will just multiply, you just check on all the strings and you will get the max as your answer. Also, uh, yeah, this print combination I've uh, taken from GFG, so you can check out like printing all the subsets of an array of a string. You can check out this how I have implemented it. So basically, uh, okay, like you can check it out from GFG of how I have like printed all the combination. You can just check it out on GFG. But after printing out the combination, you just check all the combinations and take the max of all of, all of them and in the end you will get your answer so that was the solution for this question and it was a, like a, a brute force question and like okay it's fine so yeah thank you